Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Jasmine. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, before we jump into the lower degree counts, we're going to go over a couple of the counts that we are looking for on the bigger picture here. So our bullish count is still alive for as long as we hold the 0027 level. And what we were talking about previously was the potential that we could actually see price either form this as an A, a B, and then a C to the upside, in which case our one to one would be here at this 0092. Alternatively, a move up towards this 0184 would align with the idea of actually having a third wave here. Now, the way that I would be looking at this, if we are trying to count this as a corrective structure to the downside, is there's two ways we can do this. We can argue that this is W, X, Y, X, and we're looking for this as our Z wave. If this is the case, this Z wave has done the minimum requirement that it needs to do in order to complete. It would mean, however, that we'd have to hold this 0030 region. If we lose this low again, this would invalidate this potential that this Z wave is actually completed here. And what rather what we would be looking at is the potential that we are looking at this move in a different way, which we're going to go over in a second. Now, with this idea here, what we'd be then saying is that we need to start to see some impulsive price action to the upside, looking to break this 0050 and back above this 0080 for more confidence that we are not continuing to extend to the downside. The other way that this could look to play out, if we do continue to reject down here one more time, would be we could treat this as our A wave, this is our B wave, and then actually looking at this last move as a diagonal pattern where we have three waves down here for wave one, this is our wave two, three waves down for our wave three, and effectively what we would then be looking for is that this move to the upside is going to be three wave structure to the upside for our wave four, and then have another three wave move to the downside now ideally this wave five would actually look to take this 030 region and if we do do this this would be enough to complete this fifth wave if we do manage to hold this low here we do have that potential to see impulsive structure developing to the upside though we need to be careful because if we start to break down and we lose that low that would effectively invalidate the idea of this being a um of this being an impulse here and looking for that continuation to the upside now if we do look to actually push up beyond this wave two here of the 0050 this would also invalidate the idea of this as a diagonal what we want to see here as a diagonal is to see a five wave move three wave move five wave move to the upside and then start to see price reject to the downside once again in a zigzag pattern now if we do look to do that once again this low is going to be what i want to see get taken and then from there we'll have to see how we react if we fail to push up past the origin of this move which would be the 0080 after that point we have to be very careful that we don't have continuation to the downside looking to take place here and actually looking for you know more extension down now if we are looking at this move um, to the downside in a slightly different way what we were talking about in the previous video is that we could actually be looking for this z wave to the downside now if we're looking for this as a z wave down here what we would be saying is that this move actually completes into this high here as an x wave and what we're saying is that this is our a wave this is our b wave and then potentially we are looking for a c wave down now once again we could be looking for this diagonal here where this becomes one two three four and five and this is why i say until we actually take this high over here we need to be careful because if we do get another three wave move down which breaks this low what i'd then be looking for is to see how we react to the upside if we do see a bigger three wave move up here this could mean that this whole diagonal pattern becomes a we get b and then we're looking for this c wave down looking to actually complete the z wave now the minimum requirement for the z wave would actually be all the way down here at the zero 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 nine so if we do see price looking to push down deeper here this would make a lot more sense and what we'd be saying is like i said you know potentially we're looking for a diagonal here as an a we get a three wave move up and then we look for continuation down or alternatively we could see this actually break down in a more dramatic way now if we are looking at this slightly different what we could argue is that we have a diagonal here for a wave one what we have here is a wave two and what we are looking for is fact that this wave three is actually looking to extend now we don't really have good structure at the moment if we do get something here like a diagonal this um, could just be ABC and then we look to reverse up or alternatively this could become one two 
we get this as another one two and then we could look to actually break down from that point so it's going to be very crucial here um how we react to the upside unless we start to break back above these key highs particularly this 0080 we need to be very careful of this idea of a continuation down now we also discussed the possibility of extension like this in the previous video now the problem is that the price action just really hasn't followed through if we start to push down below the 0023 region i would still be all right with this the problem is that this wave two here and this wave two here they are not the greatest because this wave two as a secondary wave two would be bigger so it becomes less likely that it would play out but nevertheless if we start to break down beyond this 0023 region we need to pay attention to the idea that we could actually be looking to extend out now if we are extending out this is what we need to be careful of in our bearish uh, scenario here is that effectively we could actually also have this as one two this is another one too and if we fail to push back above this 0040 and actually invalidate this by moving up past this 0043 region what we could see is if we do see price looking to break to the downside in a five wave structure like this and we move down towards this 0022 region this would then align with the idea that this becomes one two three four and then we'd get a fifth wave here towards this 02 0021 to this 0019 region in which case then we'd have to allow for the fact that we still have this wave two up here so we'd be looking for an additional fourth and a fifth which could look to push us down past this 2.618 area here of this 0019 now if we do start to see price breaking down in that way we'd have to be very careful with how we are looking at this move it is possible that we could still have this just as a b and c but if this starts to push down past the 1.618 level we'd have to be just uh you know cautious of that idea that we could be looking at something that is extending here so the idea here is that you know if we do get these internals extending and we start pushing down past this 0023 region we need to just be on the lookout that this could be another one two here this move would all then become wave three we'd get four and five and then we'd still have another fourth and a fifth dealing with this structure over here so it's going to be very key how we react here um, off these lows we don't really have anything impulsive to go off at the moment this structure is not looking impulsive it's looking quite corrective to be honest with you unless we start to say that you know we're getting something like a diagonal pattern forming here where what we would then be looking for is potentially that this is wave one into this high this is two possibly we getting something like a wave three over here get another fourth and a fifth and the key thing within this idea is that if we do start to see a bit of a breakdown from where we currently are here i would be expecting still one more push to the upside to be honest with you but if we do see price actually look to push down here what i would be looking for is holding this 0 0.786 at this 0032 if we do hold this level effectively even if we do see a deeper retracement what we could see is three ways to the downside and then look for that continuation up in that bullish scenario but we need to just be mindful that you know within the other counts we are still looking for that possibility we could still see at least another zigzag to the downside looking to complete um this as you know within that that uh idea of this being an abc pattern here from further back where we're looking for the diagonal which could look to push us back down beyond this 0030 so it's going to be key how we react here if we do continue to hold this 0032 region there is a possibility of a rally here we could be building series of ones and twos here where this becomes one two we have another one two here potentially we get another one two here and then next thing we start to break to the upside but like i said you know we need to start seeing uh, some some substantial price moves to the upside breaking back above the 0042 region in the shorter term here and then actually seeing the structure starting to hold out better as five wave moves coming in and having a look at the daily cpr lines what we can see is that we started to print higher cpr lines so these are this is a good sign initially now what we can see here is that we've actually come up here and we failed to reach our our one line and we've actually move back into our central cpr lines we are starting to lose these levels now if we do lose these zones i will be watching out for this 0036 as a potential support zone where we could see this just be a corrective structure and then look for a move back to the upside if we do look to push down and we lose this s1 line which is sitting here at the 0036 region other targets would be the 034 
we have this 33 and this 31 as potential downside targets. Now, if we do look to move back to the upside here and we look to reclaim these central lines, what I'll be looking for as potential upside targets is this 39, 40, 42, and potentially this 43 as potential upside targets for today. Now, if we come over here and have a look at the weekly pivots, what we can see is that once again, these have actually printed a higher weekly CPR. We can see that we came down into this and we've pushed up into this R1 line already. Now, if we do look to move back down here, we can potentially look to find support again at this 3.6 to this 3.5. If we do, however, look to continue to push back above this R1 line and turn this into support at this 0038, what we could then see is price could be gravitated towards some of these higher levels, 4.0 and this 4.2 are possible upside targets for this week. If we do see price starting to break down, we lose these central lines. Targets I will be looking out for here is this 0033. We have this 0031 and then we have this lower target here of this 0029 as potential downside targets for this week. Other targets for this month, if we come onto the monthly CPRs, what we can see is that we've actually printed a lower CPR, but this is very tightly spread on these lines. So this is indicating volatility. Now we are currently above these central lines. These could still offer us support at the 036 region. If we do look to move back down here, if we do look to find support higher up here and start to rally to the upside, targets I will be looking out for this month will be this 0043, which will be a very interesting zone because we'd be looking to interact with this high again. If we do look to push up higher here, we have this 0049 and this 0055 as potential upside targets for this month. Now, if we do look to lose these CPR lines, which are sitting at this 0036, and look to reject down deeper, I will be keeping an eye on this 0030, which aligns quite nicely with a double bottom here. Other targets to the downside would be this 0033 and this 0017 as potential downside targets for this month. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you will find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We will see you in the next one. Take care.